Welcome to another one of Chris's beer reviews. Special guest Dan, Lucas. We're going to be reviewing a beer from the Goose Island Brewery. It is called Pepe Nero. Um, it is a Belgian style farmhouse ale. Uh, we got a 765 milliliter bottle here, which is actually kind of strange. It's usually 750 um, milliliters. Yeah. And you got 6.4% ABV. And it says that we should be, um, you know, checking this out in kind of more of like a wine style glass. But we're going to be using chalice glasses today. It says develops, um, Pepe Nero develops in the bottle for up to five years. Contains live yeast. A sediment may form. So, in other words, you know, try to keep it upright for as long as possible before serving it. Um, yeah. Is that everything that it says? Yep. Everything else is in brewed and bottled by, and that's it. Belgian style farmhouse ale brewed with peppercorns. So we learned about peppercorns. That's weird. <laughs> that's kind of interesting. It I've is. I've never though. heard of anything it with is. peppercorns before. I agree. And you know what? I wasn't going to buy this, and I just decided to spoil myself around my birthday. I was just like, you know what? I'm not going to miss out on this. The Goose Island beers, for some reason, they're great beers, but every time they come out, it's always around the time where I'm the most broke, and I'm just like, should I do it? Should I not do it? <laughs> but you know what? It'd be a crime not to, because they're just that freaking good. All right, so... Uh, it's got a fun cap on it. Yeah, it does. I, actually, I really like the cap. <laughs> and this is definitely not... You know, something that you could easily reseal. With, no. Uh, those resealable cords. Okay. Yeah, it's a really strange bottle. I wonder what, you know, inspired them to go with such an irregular. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Irregular way of bottling things. Now, it's not too dark, uh, too cold. It's like basically cellar temperature. Yes, one. Hmm. Interesting. Let me know if you can smell the. It doesn't smell peppery. Belgian yeast or anything like that. Yeah, I can kind of, I can kind of get the yeasty smell, but no pepper. Oh wow! I definitely get that Belgian yeast. Yeah, it almost smells like a wheat beer. Yeah, I, I see what you mean. Um, you guys need a little more. Wow, I'm really curious to taste this. I'm not going to play too much with the yeast. Okay. Beautiful. Black as night. There's a little bit of a brown tint at the bottom. I'm picking up on that. So this is yeah. probably kind of like a brown ale. <clears throat> not too much to offer in the world of uh, aroma. You know, but I do smell that Belgian yeast. Yeah, the yeast is about the only thing you can smell. Nice and sugary. All right, cheers, boys. It's funny, actually. It was one of those beers that a friend once upon a time ago in a review said, it tastes kind of swampy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, swampy? What are you talking about? But no, it's like it's a very murky beer. Yeah. It reminds me of the bog water, kind of. Bose Brewery Bog Water. Um, it's different. I I really like it. Uh, a lot of Belgian yeast followed by this kind of sweet in the end note. But it's different. I don't know. Yeah, it's like a spicy sweetness. I wonder if that's from the peppercorns. Yeah, that's a good point. Huh. Probably yeah. would have liked it to be a little bit more colder, but you know what? This is one of those beers where if it's too cold, it's going to take away from it. Yeah. I personally really like the temperature it's at, but I think it's, uh, yeah, excellent brew. Hell yeah. Fabulous. I don't know what else to say about this thing, like, it doesn't really scream to me in multiple directions. So far it's one of my least favorite of the three that we've had at this point up until now. I mean, the... Sophia was the best of the Matilda. Oh, are those both Goose Island as yeah, well? Okay. Yeah, same type of bottle, same um, same size, just uh, Goose Island. <laughs> and yeah, you said it came from the U.S.? Yeah. Just Illinois, if I'm not oh, mistaken. Oh, okay. 
GooseIsland.com can tell you that stuff too. Just want to make sure I'm not missing out on too much beer because of the yeast. No, I think we poured out a good amount. I'm not going to play with that. Yeah, I'm going to give this like a 9. I really? Am? Yeah. Well, I want to give mine like a 6 out of 10. Wow. I'm going to give it an 8. Yeah. And a half. Well, no. I won't give it the extra half. I'll give it an 8. I thoroughly enjoy it. It doesn't, it's like you said, it doesn't scream to me like, this is an awesome beer. But it's, I can sit down and drink this whenever and drink as much of it as I wanted. I really like the neutral element of it. I like that it doesn't really taste too much like anything, but at the same time it's got a nice full-bodied Belgian flavor about it. Yeah. Um, for that reason, I could drink this all night, but teach his own, I suppose. Hmm. And that's, I guess, it, you know, it's a farmhouse ale, and I guess anything that people are brewing in their farmhouse probably is going to be something you can just drink. Yeah, so I guess it goes along with the theme. <laughs> It really does just take, taste like a strong ale mm. with, uh, with a little bit of a Belgian yeast flavor to it. It's not a very overpowering Belgian yeast flavor. No, it's not, but it's still there. I wish that the peppery dry. notes were stronger. Yeah. It would have been nice if it was like, ooh, pepper. Yeah. Yeah, that's, some, that's something some, someone out there has got to come out with. I think that it's so dry that it's just throwing me off because it's very dry. Mm -hmm. Depending on what kind of beer it is. Like it, it, whether it's dry or not, sometimes it can throw me off. So did you actually say you're like not fond of this beer? No, I like it. Okay. I'm, I'm just I'm trying to explain why I can't why I'm not giving it such a right. high rating. Right. Because um, it's still I still gave it a six. I mean, it's kind of harsh, but it's very harsh in my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> it's to each his own, right? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thanks for joining us on another one of Chris's beer reviews. Don't drink and drive, but drink responsibly. Cheers.